Welcome back to the workshop, everybody. So glad you could be with me here today. Walter here at the workbench. So, having completed my rough planning project, I wanted to take a moment and talk to you about the Bailey Stanley pattern plane. Why is it that it works the way it works when there are certain things about it that are pretty less than noteworthy. So, I'm not going to take it completely apart, but I want to point out a few things. Now, let's pop the hood. This is the lever cap that holds all the Gewerkens together. This is your blade set or your, your double iron set. Let's start with the basics. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. I don't want to lose anybody. But basically, you have the body, which contains the sole. It has a toe and a heel and two cheeks. Okay? This is your front knob, and of course you have the knob post and knob screw nut. This is the frog. The frog contains the lateral adjuster, the advancing mechanism, the cap iron screw, and two mounting screws to mount it to the body. In the back, you have an advancing wheel. That advances the blade up and down through the use of this yoke. That's what this is called. It's a yoke. And then all the way in here, you have a screw and a plate that when you loosen the two frog screws, you can move the frog back and forth using that screw. I never use it. And I say never because it's like never. Did I make that clear? All right. In the blade set, and I'm not going to take it apart, but in the blade set, you have the cutting iron, also known as the blade. This is the screw that holds the chip breaker, but also known as the cap iron or the back iron, all right? So this is the cap iron screw. Naturally, you have a slot here, you have a hole here for the screw to pass through. All right, typically, your bevel, I'm gonna to try to get in camera here. Let's see, light, where's the light? There it is. You have a primary bevel of 25 degrees and the back iron or the cap iron has this bulge on top so that when the lever cap presses down, it presses down there and makes everything tight. All right, so I'm not going to go any further than that. But here is the beauty, the absolute beauty and magnificence, the splendor of the Staley Bailey patent plane. Actually, it's the Bailey Stanley patent plane. All right. You put your blade set in. Now, <laughs> these blades are generally under, under, 330 seconds of an inch. The new modern-day Hawk irons that you can get from Ron Hawk, which are super, if you get his 01 tool steel. Call Ron. Order some. Um, I've seen these down to as low as... 0.078 inches, 0 0.08, 0 0.085. Most of mine are coming in close to 0 0.09. 330 seconds is 0 0.09375. Okay, so they're all under 330 seconds. They're pretty thin. You can bend these pretty easy. But here's the beauty. The, the Bailey patent took the sum, 
of all the parts and each part could be more or less accurate and the sum became almost, not quite, but almost equal to some of the finest planes, one body planes, that were made with easier adjustability. So, thin blade, thin, blade, thin chip breaker, you assemble them together, now all of a sudden they're twice as thick. They're twice as thick. You put them in to the plane. And you put the lever cap on. Now all of a sudden, everything becomes one piece. This is all one piece. It performs as one piece. So it's rigid. Yet, with the adjusting knob, you can make it go up and down. With the lateral here, you can, you can cant it left and right. Okay? That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. All right? And then, think about this. You could have, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to the camera, you can have all of the nice features that we just talked about, but Look where, look, look where the adjuster knob is. I don't have to let go of this plane. I can adjust this on the fly. See that? So, I'm sorry folks. This is perhaps one of the most ingenious tools on the planet. To be able to give the same results or better from some of the old tools, it all becomes one piece. So it is the sum of its parts. That's why I feel this is one of the most brilliant tools on the planet. Hey, listen, head out to your shop. Go make some shavings. Walter out.